Okay, the next thing we're going to deal with is something a lot of guys have asked me about all the time. How do I skate side mount? Um, I want to show something that I do uh, that's very strong. It's very simple. It works better if you're more proactive with it rather than letting the guy get settled in just like anything else. Once the guy's settled into the position, um, it's, more, it's much more difficult. So I'm going to lay down here. David's going to have, have uh, the side control me. If I let this guy go ahead and settle in and get in this position, it's going to be a lot tougher, but it's not impossible. But the, I'm going to show the technique and then we're going to look at the, the way we can apply this um, to maybe prevent getting here uh, as easily for him. So once I'm here, uh, this is kind of uncomfortable for me uh, because he's crushing my head down and everything. I want to get my hands here on this side. And this is, you know, maybe if you're going to work maybe a hip out escape, you know, maybe I could have my hand here. That's not working for us. He's got a real tight side control. It's not working out for me. So I need to maybe make a little bit of space and get my hand in here. What I'm going to do with my other hand is I'm going to put it on the other side of his head. I'm not going to put my whole arm because he'll arm bar me. I'm just going to put my hand here and then I'm going to come through and get my wrist, okay, to help support my hand. So David's trying to put his head down and everything. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to take and get my wrist and I'm just going to try to pass his head to the other side of my body. Okay, for him to have side control, he needs to have his head. See, see how his natural tendency is want to press his head back in here, but his head, his neck is not stronger than both of my arms. So once I get here, now I can do my hip escape really easily. Once I get his head back on the other side of my body. So again, the concept when he, in order for him to get a pass and get a get a good solid got solid position, he needs to have his body, you know, his hips on this side of me and his head on this side of my center line. So, his, so his, his hips are on this side of my center and his head is on the other side. Okay, that, that constitutes side control. Well, you know, my, my way of addressing that is I'm going to take away one of those elements. I'm not going to let his head reach across my center line. So again, and maybe he got here, he's got a great side, side control, he's got a nice position. I'm going to come in here with my elbow, I'm going to make a little bit of space, bam, and, and, and dig both my hands on the same side of his shoulder. I'm going to reach over here and I'm going to get my hand on the side of his head and I'm going to get my wrist and I'm going to, I'm going to take and I'm going to push his head over on this side, bam. Once I get his head on this side, I can then easy, much more easily pull guard. I can maybe do some arm bars to this arm if I want to try that kind of attack. So another way we can address the, the side mount, the best defenses always don't get there. So we're, we're going to look at this David, he's got a really strong pass, he gets a, he gets a you know, good, good strong grips to do the pass. So, um, whichever, whichever side you're going to pass, but just, just stay, stay over here on this chest. So anyway, he's, 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 he's trying to pass my guard. If I keep his head pointed this way, even if he's got these strong passes, if I don't let his head cross my body, I can always escape my hip out and, 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 get, and recover, recover guard. So as long as I don't let his head come across my center line, I'm, I should be safe. So, this kind of pushing can help us stay out of side mount. Thank you.